In this video tutorial, I'd like to show you how quick and easy it is to make corrections and enhance images like this to this. And here's a few more examples. An old mining ghost town. Now we can see what's actually there. Or this is just an example. This Bryce Canyon. That's what it actually looked like that day, and that's how much you could enhance this. All right, in the beginning of the program, you can go to the manage section where you can pick up all your files and anything that you've added tags or stars to which you can do right here. It'll also tell you which camera you use to take the photos and what the settings were for them. Or you can go into a more detailed view in the XLive header and see all the information that was put out in the XLive header for your image. Then it's easy to go to the Adjust tab. Now in the Adjust tab, let's take this for example. The first thing that will open up is the Smart Photo Fix. The Suggest Settings button. If you click on this, it will change the brightness, the shadows, highlights, saturation. It will pick out the white part of the image and the total black part of the image and do a white balance correction and it'll correct the uh, brightness, shadows, highlights, etc. But you can change these. You can reduce or increase the highlights in the image and bring it back to what your eye actually saw the day you took the photograph. Now in an image like this, this person is so dark it's hard to tell who he is. So we want to raise the shadows that looks a lot better. We did lose a little bit of detail back here in uh, dark areas. So what we want to do is go to local tone mapping and increase this just a little bit. Now you notice this brought up the detail in the mountains in the background. And now we know that this is manual. Now to give you an example of what the tone mapping will do. No, we're not going to save this at this time. Tone mapping is great for rocks, mountains, shrubs, and this is a perfect example of a photograph like that. This has been tone mapped. Now you can see the obvious difference here. It's really brought up the detail in the rocks, but it also brought up detail and the coloration in the surrounding shrubs. Alright, let's look at one more here. Let's show you a couple other things that are available to you with this program. For example, let's take the horizon here on the uh, Salton Sea and level this. The camera must have been a little bit out of uh, its orientation here. Alright, now we've got a pretty level horizon here. Then we've also got a spot up here from the camera, a dust speck that's on the sensor. So right here we can go in here to this. Go to the blemish fixer. Let's see. Let's increase the brush size. One click and it's gone. But we want to correct this image and make it look a little better. So we'll go to Smart Photo Fix. Click on Suggest Settings. Maybe drop the brightness down just a little. Shadow areas, maybe increase them just a little. Then we'll go back to the local tone mapping. 
and just very slightly increase this. This will bring out some more detail in the dock and on the trees there. Now if we go to the edit mode, well let's see, let's not do that yet. Let's save this first and I'll give you an example of what you should do with this. You go to save as and right down here in the image name we're going to add a small letter A. Now why are we doing that? When we click save alright now what that did was it saved the image that we adjusted but it didn't overwrite the original file which is really important to keep your originals that way if you don't like the way you fixed it you can always go back here to this and work it again alright let's go to edit Edit has an unbelievable amount of options available to you to lighten, darken, dodge, burn, soften, sharpen, emboss, saturation. I mean, it's just, uh, I don't care what program you use, you won't find anything that has as many options as this does. It even has a HDR for high, dynam high dynamic range where you can take three photos and merge them to come up with an HDR photo. But to make this simple, let's just resize this. Say we want to put this in an email, and we want to make this about 650 pixels wide. Alright, this will automatically set the height size for you. Make sure it's in by cubic, which is good for photographs, and click OK. Now, here's what we ended up with. That's the actual size of the image. This program will do almost anything you want it to do. I mean, I can't think of anything that it won't do. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this.